the Duchess of Westminster handicap chase is next then. And this is another 0 to 130. It's been quite a few of those so far tonight. Class 3. Uh, it's a three miler. And the top one is Uvini talking for Thomas Rogers. Junk in the trunk ages, David Robertson, Sponge Bandit, Ryan Costello, Barolo Viking, Martin Leadham, Jay's Doll Stall, James Shea, Simons Wood, Darren Thompson, Large Moon, Jim Murray, Rampant Lion, and Dan Silly Fami, both for Alex Cherry, Sunbeam Talbot for John Morgan, and Double Diamond for Graham Clutterbuck. So 11 facing the starter in the rain. That banger starting on a bend, and away they go. And make their way towards the first of the fences, cross that little pathway there, that little double pathway. And the first fence comes up, it's a plain one, and they're all over it nicely. Although the, the sort of localish runners, the Grand Clutterbuck trained horse, Double Diamond, was right down on his nose as though he already had a couple of those too many. But it's Barolo Viking who has gone into the lead then. There's another 17 fences to take, and Barolo Viking leads into the second of them with a good lead of about three. Simon's Wooden Junk in the Trunk Ages as they get over that ditch. Oh, another four. A Junk in the Trunk Ages has gone. So, Junk in the Trunk is out of it today. No treasures in the trunk this week. And Barolo Viking is in the lead by about four. So, Double Diamond is in second. And Simon's Wood on that one's inside is third. And on that one's inside. On the rail is Jay's Doll Stall. Then we've got a similar line of three with the closest one of those two is the Jim Murray horse, Large Moon on his inside. Alex Cherry's rampant line and Barolo Viking down on his nose this time. So the jumping's been a little bit sketchy so far. Looking towards the back, Dan Silly Fami is struggling to go the pace at this stage. And they get over the fifth, which they're all safely over. And they're getting quite well strung out. It doesn't look as though they're setting that much of a pace, but conditions might be a bit tricky but it's Barolo Viking is in the lead and gets to this ditch jump that one much better and a faller there it's rampant lion's gone so not very rampant the lion today as he's having a bit of a sit down and he's out of the race and Barolo Viking how Viking lock will he take this next fence I wonder with large moon in second that's over that one nicely and all safely over it there's the back marker down silly family jumping it slowly not been the most successful race for Alex Cherry so far this one although he did have a pretty good race earlier on where he finished first and third so Barolo Viking clear in front by a good five to Jay's Doll Stall in second and a Large Moon on the outside in third then Double Diamond is fourth a little bit of a gap then to Simon's Wood Sponge Bandit Uvini talking and just tucked in behind them Sunbeam Talbot a big gap then back to Dan Silly Fami who is somewhat adrift as they get over number eight. And there's still a long, long way to go yet. And Nancy Fami is jumping slowly at the back. And there's something to miss with that one, but uh, wouldn't be at all surprised to see that one calling it quits. And they get up past the stand and he sees the entrance to the stable. It's cold, it's wet, it's raining, and the jockey might well think, I'll call it a day for today. And I think he is, and you can just see him slowing down a little bit there. And indeed he has pulled up. So it's Barolo Viking in the lead then from Large Moon in second. Now as they go past the winning post with a complete circuit to go. And they swing left handed, bit of a sharp turn that one. Oh, he hasn't pulled up, he's still going. It looked like he was going so slowly he pulled up, but uh, I think he'll probably pull up soon. Anyway, back to the front. It's Barolo Viking at the 10th. Oh, and he went straight through the top of that one again. So too did Simon's Wood at the back. And now Large Moon has virtually been presented with the lead, really. And he's now gone on by half a length. Doesn't seem all that keen to be in front. Barolo Viking has settled back down in second. Then Double Diamond is third. Jay's Doll Stool is fourth. And then Sponge Bandit as they get over number 11. Barolo Viking fighting back for the lead. Jumped that ditch much better this time. Large Moon still jumps it well as well and is going steadily in second. Gap of about three back to Double Diamond in third. Dan City Fami has finally called it quits. Moving through nicely to fourth is Sunbeam Talbot. And then on the inside, Jane's Doll Stall is still there. Sponge Bandit, Simons Wood trying to come round the outside. Uvini Talking is just about the back marker now. And Barolo Viking has regained a two length lead from Large Moon in second. And Double Diamond in third. 
and Sunbeam Talbot in four, Simon's Wood in five, and then Sponge Bandits again over this plain one. You wouldn't rule any of these out at the moment. The back marker, you really talk, and he's just moved around the outside and is looking to make a bit of a forward move as well. They get over the 14th, Brolo Viking, not the quickest. Large Moon jumped in a little bit better, but he's still half a length there in second. Double Diamond might get boxed in on the inside as Simon's Wood comes around the outside. Also looking for him is Sunbeam Talbot, Sponge Bandit cruises into it over that ditch, and he will get over that one. Brolo Viking still just in the lead but being pressed now by Simon's Wood on the outside, Sponge Bandit is going well, Sunbeam Talbot is trying to get into it, Double Diamond is ready to be pulled out, the one that's dropped away is Large Stool not sorry, Large Moon, Jay's Dull Stool is after that one, and then comes Uvini talking over the sec third, last they go, and now Simon's Wood's gone on, Simon's Wood takes it up from Sponge Bandit, Double Diamond has now got a run on the inside as Brolo Viking drops away Sunbeam Talbot still seems to be going well, it's a wide open race, they've still got two to jump, and they've still got three and a half furlongs to race. Sponge Bandit and Simon's Wood on the inside double diamond. Barolo Viking isn't beaten yet. Sunbeam Talbot is poking its head in front though. It's Sunbeam Talbot just about in front from Simon's Wood. Double diamond short of room on the inside. Sponge Bandit's trying to come through. These four are clear of the remainder then as they come down towards the second last. Over that they go. Simon's Wood landed in the lead and goes a length clear. It's Simon's Wood from Sunbeam Talbot. Sponge Bandit in third. Double diamond's got nothing left and he's going flat in fourth. It's Simon's Wood then racing down towards the final fence looking like he's only got to jump it. Simon's Wood in the lead. Gets over it nicely but it wasn't, wasn't the fastest of jumps but it was probably enough to take it because nothing's coming out of the pack and nothing's got anything left. And up towards the line Simon's Wood is going to take it. Sunbeam Talbot's going to be second and Sponge Bandit third. Past the post they go then with Barolo Viking fourth then James Dolstall, Large Moon, Double Diamond and Simon's Wood takes it for Darren Thompson. Probably not the best race we're going to see all season. And it was a case of, after you clawed at the end, nobody seemed to want to win. But Simons Wood sucked it on and won it. And Simons Wood is the winner for Darren Thompson. Sunbeam Talbot for John Morgan was second. Sponge Bandit, Ryan Costello, third. Jay's Doll Stool for James Shea was fourth. And Barolo Viking was fifth.